What is up guys, The Casey's here, and today we're working on our social media app again, and um, I, it's, it's been a while since uh, I, I have done anything with this, so I've kind of forgotten a lot, I've been working a lot with iOS 11 coming out, or well, actually, it's been released now, um, so if you guys go to the app store, you can download Xcode 9, and you can also download iOS 11 on your phones if you haven't done that yet. But let's get right on it. So obviously Xcode 9 is a lot faster than Xcode 9 beta, at least from what I have seen. And you guys noticed it didn't take five minutes for that to load up. Um, but what are we doing right now? Uh, I've kind of forgotten, like I said, I've been doing a lot of stuff. A lot of uh, preparing for interview, working on apps, learning a whole bunch of stuff. So let's see. I think we have the comments loading, or no, we don't have the comments loading. We have the ability for the comments to load. When you press the comments button, it shoots you over here to the comments. Um, I'm gonna run this on the iPhone X um, while that's loading. Um, one thing we need to do is basically create the same thing here for the share, but down here. So let's copy that, paste it down here. Oh, so, all right, it just went on top of there. I will move it down here. I'm going to create a, a button and we're going to drag that over here and we're going to say comment. Boom. Oh, not class comment. Uh, my bad. The name is going to be comment. Perfect. Okay. Hmm, is that what we want to do? Why not? Why not? You could, if you wanted to, have like a little view down here where you type it in and then you click the share button. But I think just for simplicity, this will be a lot easier code wise since we've already written code for it over here. Um, but let's click on the comments, right click and drag over to share and click show. And the share is going to be turned into comment. Okay, okay, okay. Perfect, perfect. Alright, so it's loading up over here. We'll see where we're at, what we need to do. Oh, jeez. If you guys haven't seen the iPhone X, it actually looks really, really cool. Okay, so the simulator's still loading. It's been loading about four minutes still. Um, we'll just go ahead and write some code over here for the comment post part. Um, we have a post VC, we have a feed, comment. Um, let's create a com uh, post comment VC. Uh, Coco Touch class. UI view controller and it's gonna be post or com comment post BC. You can name it whatever you want really. Eight if you can. Okay, okay. So our code is gonna be exactly the same as in the post VC, but it's gonna be to the comments and we need a couple different variables uh so we'll get that but uh let's see here obviously as my computer is slow the simulator makes it even slower so that's why everything i click a button and it starts to load for five seconds or more but i'll probably edit that out so if you see me jumping around a lot that's why okay down here. Copy. So I'm copying the, the code from the post VC. I'm heading over to the comment post VC. And I'm just. And I'm just going to post it in here. And of course, you have to import the Firebase. So, the main difference here is 
one thing is we're posting the data in a different location. So we're not going to be posting it um, where we're posting right here. So right now we're posting it in text post, but we need to post it in text post dot child something dot child comments I believe it is dot child bottom ID. So the second child is going to be the ID of the post itself um, which needs to be passed in. I'm just going to put an empty string in here for right now. Okay, we need to create a variable up here at the top. It's going to be var uh, past post ID of type string. And this variable is going to be in this child. So whatever's passed is going to go right there. And then we need to go to our comments VC. What does it fix? Self dot. I probably have to force on that too. All right, I think we're good there. Um, so if we go to comments VC, we can see. Okay, so post dot post key is what we're getting here, and then comments. Let's double check and make sure that that's the same. All right, yes, so that is spelled the same. Now on the comments VC, when a we have to create a IB action at the bottom. Bunk, uh, go to comment. Sender is going to be a type any object. Okay. In here, we're going to say perform segue with identifier to string um, post or to comment post. Sender's gonna be no. Okay. Um, and then in prepare for segue, we just needed to um, get, or is it in the view control? I think we have one. We can copy that code. Set up, sign in, feed BC. I think we have to have a prepare for segue at some point. Okay, so create post, we don't need one. But when we go to comments, we do. So let's see. Have we just not created that yet? Let's see. Okay, I'm going to run this again. Hopefully, I don't have to create a whole entire new. Build failed. Oh. Let's see. Okay, so while that's building, I know we have to do this anyways. So, in prepare for segue, we're going to create a switch statement. Oh, ch. Uh, segue dot identifier. And then. And here we're going to say case, um, two comments, is that what it's called? Two comment posts. They said it now. Okay. Click enter, and we'll just say let... Uh, let destination equal segue dot identifier or segue dot destination as um, uh, as A comment post post VC and then destination 
dot past post ID equals post self dot post dot video what is it post key there we go and then of course we have to have a default so underneath here default and it's just going to be uh, return Hey, and let's check out this app over here. It says it's running. I don't see nothing running. All right, so we want to share something. It goes to share VC. We're going to type in something right here. Share now. All right, so it should be popping up. We might not have our, um, so we have get comments. And we have the comment cell in here. We don't even have the post selling yet. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to do that in this video, but that's definitely important. I don't know why I forgot about that. Um, we can't really figure out what's wrong with the other stuff if we don't have that. So that's kind of confusing. But this should be working. So when you click the, the post, it should be posting to that, that, that. Uh, one thing that we need to do is copy this identifier. Um, so it's going to perform a segue here, and when it does, it's going to pass that. So on the other view, it should all work out. Uh, we got to change the identifier on this right here to, to comment post. And I'm guessing the yep, the class of this is comment post VC. Okay, so that's all good. As long as this one's all good. And this should all be good, I think. Comment VC, let's see. Just be loading the comment cell. It's getting the comments here. It's preparing for segue there. Calling get comments there. So do we even have that cell set up? We do have it set up. Do we have a we have a post cell identifier? We have all that stuff. We just haven't physically set it up here. Uh, we have get posts. Have we ever called get post? We have not called get posts. So let's call it get posts. Okay. Now if we call get posts to the table view, load it, it should. I was on the wrong feed, I think. Let's see. Posts should load. This might be the last episode if we can get this working right now. So it's saying there's no posts, I'm guessing? Okay, okay, okay. So we can double check a few things here. Um, have we hooked up everything in the cell? Yeah, we've set, hooked that up. Uh, the cell has an identifier, right? It does not have a reuse identifier. So on the feed VC, what the post cell? Copy that. I'm in a storyboard. We need to change this cell's identifier to post cell, otherwise it will never know which cell to put the data into. Okay, so we got a, a little crasher. See where it's crashing? I might know why. Uh, okay, so in here, of course, we need to subtract uh, posts out count. Wait, uh, minus one, sorry. I don't think we did extra cells. Yeah, just minus one. Ooh, and we also forgot to link up the comments. So this identifier actually, two comments, copy that and uh, delete the, the segue. And we're gonna select the segue from the controller to the controller, not the button. Otherwise you can't call the uh, prepare for segue. Paste that in there. And then we need to hook up Okay, does this have the comment BC class? It does not. Comment BC. And then we can hook up and go to comments. Touch up uh, inside. Perfect. Alright, so our stuff is loading up now. Doesn't look bad. Doesn't look great. Uh, 
especially on the simulator, these uh, dividers, you can get rid of that stuff. Let's go to comments. Oh, is comment something linked up? Okay. So, on the PGC, let's see about that. So, on the cell, I think we need to do something kind of like this. Copy that. Let's see. Cell dot comment button. No. Nothing like that. Let's see. Over here in post cell. Okay. In post cell, we need to create an IB outlet. Okay, so this IB outlet is linked up to a button, uh, which we'll have to do here in a second. But down here we can say cell dot dot comment button dot add target, and target gonna be self. The action is going to be or the selector, sorry, is gonna be hashtag selector. And then we'll add that, and then this is a dot touch up inside. Okay. Down here at the bottom, we need to create a at objc funk um, two comments. The sender is a type of any object. And then we'll just say perform segue with identifier to comments. No. Okay. So we don't have a prepare for segue here either, which we do need. Prepare for segue. And we'll do the same thing here, but let's just save this. One second. Um, we'll call two comments in there in action so that's all good um on our comments we can just oh no comments vc i'll prepare for segue you can copy that if you want otherwise you can type this out um, paste that there and then we'll say uh, to comments destination is going to be comment vc And then we're going to say destination dot post equals we're going to create a variable of our selected post um, of type post and when you so I guess we set this up in the next video um, just because I have a lot to do today, um, I'm studying for an interview and I'm still working on the apps getting them out for iOS 11. Um, this video's gone a little bit longer than I was hoping because I am studying. Um, but, no. um, we'll hop back on here next week or if I get time this week. Um, and we're gonna fix a couple things. Um, obviously, the prepare for segue is not working if we're not gonna segue, and we need to segue whenever the uh, comment. Oh, so the comment button is selected, but we need to figure out which cell the button is in, and then we can pass the post data from there. And after that, the app should be working. So if you guys want to figure that out on your own, you can. But uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, please give a big thumbs up. And if you guys haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. We are over 1K, which is awesome. I didn't think it was going to be possible. But I'm sure we'll be at 10K here soon. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.